Oh, you got it there? <laughs> I'm protein water. Being spoiled. Morning world, welcome to June the 6th. You're all okay. Still got a nice clean bed. He's happy. Right, guys aren't very happy this morning. Um, our main core vehicle has got an oil leak, so it's in the garage with parts of the engine being stripped off of it. Um, so because we haven't got the transit, the main transit, I've got the guys back here logging. I don't think they're very happy about it. Oh yeah, and thank you. The kind gentleman who sent me all you know, the reflective strip to stop me hitting the barn. I've put it everywhere. So there is now no excuse for anybody to hit anything. <laughs> made a hole. So much your cake. Have you already had one, have you? One of those, one of those, one of those. Hey? All right. <laughs> I'll leave them to eat their cakes in peace. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. A bit more reflective there. Missed that corner, but I got it there. <laughs> Do you find a rabbit? Come on. Bloody geese. It started off with one or two, and then three or four, and now we've got 40. Thing is, they're eating all my grass. Well, it's another morning of wandering around uh, the county looking at tree work. It's too wet to go mowing. There's no way we're going to be cutting hay. Um, well, looking at the weather this week, I think tomorrow's okay, dryish. Wednesday is going to rain again. Um, so it's looking like probably next week now before we actually manage to cut any hay. Um, so this is, for me, the quiet before the storm. So I've got a contractor going to come in and mow it for me because his kit is so much bigger and then I think it's going to be me um, spinning it so d again depending on the weather we'll determine whether we cut everything because there's about well best part of uh, 40 acres to cut I think it's 36 and a half acres um, in one two three four five six seven pieces um, so it's quite a lot of folding machine up, unfolding machine, spinning, folding up again, and folding stuff like that. And I would imagine, even with the Lotus, it's going to take quite a few hours every day for three or four days to actually get the grass dry enough um, to make hay. We'll see. I'm just hoping the weather gods are going to stay with me. Anyway, while we're out and about driving around looking at trees um, my route is taking me through Dursley and somebody I can't remember who it was said to me today how's that little willow tree doing that you planted up at the cemetery I don't know so we'll go and have a look hopefully it's still there one pound 78.9 pence a litre for diesel Wild Goose Garage. Um, I paid 10 pence a litre more than that in our local garage last week. So is that fuel prices coming down or just my garage charging too much? Mm. Right. 
we'll park outside today. The walk won't kill me. Well, our liquid amber is still looking all right. We planted that, that was a gift to the town. Um, well, about six years ago, we planted that. But I can still see a stick, but is it growing any leaves? Hmm, I think I'm going to be disappointed. <sighs> well, Mr. Pigeon's found himself a decent perch. <sighs> no is the answer. No. The original tree's doing all right. He's coming back. But that one, no. Back to the drawing board for that, I think. I'll just pay a visit to my grandparents when I'm here. So I'll see you when I get back in the van. Okay, so yeah, shame about the willow. We will have to see if we can do that again. Now it's possibly down to the fact that um, we had an extremely dry spring and the tree never got a chance to actually get enough moisture to kickstart and get some root growth going. Um, that is the most likely reason why it's... Uh, look, there were some figments of leaf on there uh, now, whether the tree did actually start to form a leaf and then just basically died, lack of moisture, I don't know. Um, but I will instruct the guys next to Nerve in Jersey will, will remove it because I don't want to leave a dead stick standing there. And we will look at replacing it. <laughs> 